Quinaca, which is a town over from Highland Park, and it could have just as easily been Winnetka that was affected rather than the Highland Park Parade. And I have two young children who I am determined to keep safe. It feels far removed when it happens in a town in the next state or states over, but five minutes from my house was definitely very shocking and scary. Say it with me, enough is enough! Enough is enough! Well, we didn't go far enough with the bill that was passed, um, and I think really we need to kind of focus on these assault rifles first and foremost, but also just common sense background checks, um, you know, kind of just closing up loopholes, I think, within the system um, that still exist. No one should have to bury their child, and no one should have to bury their relative due to gun violence, um, something that's easily preventable. You know, really, you eliminate the root cause of the problem, which is the guns, and then hopefully people can live out their lives and not have to worry about loved ones dying. Not one more! Not one more! I try to view room 111 through her eyes. I picture which side of the room she and her classmates huddled against as an 18-year-old man gunfire fired toward them killing them so swiftly that their teacher who lay bleeding nearby said he didn't hear a whimper or cry. Like so many others here, I never would have imagined this would be my story, that I would be sharing, looking out at all of you, and understanding how frequent mass shootings are in our country. Statistically, though, this will be your story, too. Your town could be a hashtag. Your children will be survivors, God willing, and the shooting site will be repainted. The leading killer of children under the age of 16 in this country is gun violence. It's gun violence. Enough is enough. And I want you to be angry. Our communities are paying the high price. We're paying the price of our sanity. We're paying the price of our peace. We're paying the price of our lives. Highland Park was the 308th mass shooting in the United States in 2022. No other country experiences this. It is only the United States, and it's because of one thing, access to guns, and in particular, access to assault weapons, weapons of destruction of war. We must ban assault weapons. <laughs>